peeps hello 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 so before we get into the video that y'all asked for because i asked you do you want it and y'all said yes um i want to get into a few things before this um while my mood is still happy um first off um today i had a surprise live uh singing class with mama cheryl porter um and i got to sing for her and she gave me feedback and she says she definitely hears a big change um from the vocal injuries till today and i'm I'm on a high, girl. I'm on a high right now. I love it. Um, second, a lot of people saw me go like this in the in the yesterday's video, like this, and I got so many comments on TikTok and on um, YouTube, and they were like, "Candace, what are you putting on your face?" Well, I have, I have a website. Um, I'm not taking orders through the website. So if you want something, you can look at the website, um, and then after you look at the website, email me, okay, and then we'll talk, um, depending on what you want. So the website is um, enchantedascension.com. I don't know if you can see this. Hold on. Okay. Don't call that phone number. I disconnected it. Um, enchantedascension.com. Just to look over the products. Um, what is going on out there? Um, this one that I just put on is the Crown Chakra Aromatherapy. So this is, you know, just to smell good, but it's also all the ingredients I use are 100% organic. Um, and I use them for all my face. That's the only thing I actually use on my face at the moment for like the last two years is just oils that I make. Um, so that's that. And this one has coconut oil, spearmint, um, clary, sage, and lavender as well as they are charged with real crystals inside. Um, and also if you want <clears throat> a tarot reading, you know, for the living, um, you can email me at K-A-N-D-I-S 285 at gmail.com and um i offer tarot and i do offer um spirit box sessions for your past loved ones um but yeah if if you want to ask questions about that again k-a-n-d-i-s 285 at gmail.com um if you want to look at what i what i offer here and here um you can go to enchanted ascensions.com enchantedascension.com um just look through the page see what you like if you like something don't order it from the page because i'm not using the page right now um then just come back to canvas285 at gmail.com hit me up and we can talk so i am just like i sang whitney for her <clears throat> Should I sing it for you? Clock strikes upon the hour and the sun begins to fade. Still enough time to figure out how to take my blues away. Love the right up to now. It's the light of day that shows me how it ends when the night falls. My lonely heart calls. Sorry, my daughter just tried to call me. So, let me get into this video. Because <clears throat> I know it's going to get me upset and sad. And I spoke at the end of the video yesterday. Oh, just real quick. Hey, Gypsy. That's what hard work looks like. That's what talent looks like. From a real, a real, a real survivor. Hmm. But you can't push out tears for that, right? Oh, <laughs> was so sad. Anyways. So, I made this video December 2nd, 2023. Okay. Wait. Boop, boop. Okay, and it is called, I was spiritually attacked by you know who. This is what... A spiritual tech looks like so I came on looking beat up okay and 
We're going to let this play. I won't put it in fast forward this time. A lot of people don't know about the settings button. We can slow it down and it's all right. Here we go. Hello, hello, hello. So today I am doing this video because um, I have no makeup on. Nothing. Okay. Um, I was spiritually attacked last oh. night. And I want you to see what that actually looks like. Okay. And um, <laughs> Poor baby. Wow. I need to get into the actual. So the you know who is... Diddy, P. Diddy, and you're probably like, what? And it, there's a reason behind the attacks, okay? I have been outing Oprah. I have been outing Ellen. I have been outing Diddy. I have been outing a lot of head people that are into really dark things, just like Gypsy Rose, okay? So. Dream, but I want to tell you the side effects of that dream just from getting up and after the dream. So I have the worst migraine in my head. My eyes are swollen and hurt. My whole back of my neck and all the way into my actual back hurts. I feel like I was beat with a baseball bat. Now, the point of me explaining what I'm feeling, what I'm looking like, is so that if you're spiritually attacked, you know the signs, okay? Okay. Um. Also, I, I want to show you, because I'm going to show you three different things, okay? And I want you to see how in line they are. Because I am connected to the universe. We all are. Whether we're tapped into it is a whole nother situation, okay? The dream's becoming a little foggy. That's why I wanted to do this now before I forget everything. Um, but I was spiritually attacked by somebody we've been talking about recently. See? Um, My poor face. Hold on. Hooked on phonics commercials. We are. A hooked on phonics family here. <laughs> it started out. I was at this really big, big venue. I don't know what it's called, but there was so many. It looked like a hotel, <clears throat> but not just a hotel, like a really nice one, but like a hotel where they would have gatherings in. Because I remember when I was trying to get out of the hotel, seeing like the red carpet and just the people there were very fancy and upper class, okay? People there. It felt like a big uh, party. It felt like a toothache. Maybe like a hurt my head. ceremony. I don't know what it was, but I was there. Um, even my baby was there. And in the dream, there was these guys, there was a lot of them, but it started out with just like two to four guys, and they shot me with something in my hand, in my right hand. here, I'm showing. and it like took the skin off, um, it felt like a BB gun, but it wasn't just a BB gun, it was something I feel was supposed to absorb in my skin, I and remember, me precisely. Um, after they shot me with something in my hand, like a BB gun, they sprayed something in my face. And when they sprayed it in my face, I knew... Now, I did have one other attack after whatever I put on the internet. I did not share that with nobody besides my hubby. Um, I might share it today. So let, let me continue. I'm sorry. Like in my head that I was supposed to pass out but I didn't because I kept thinking oh my god the baby I gotta get the baby out of here I gotta get the baby out of here and I didn't pass out I remember running from like room to room to room and each room there was more people waiting for me to get me um exactly who it came from I it always do it starts with a P and ends with a D 
Um, a wine. P. Diddy. It's like P. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, a D and then a Y. Um, there were so many. Like every time I thought I got away from them, there was more. And then more. And then more. And I kept trying to hide the baby in each room and keep her quiet. And the- now, I remember... It was like an upper level with like a balcony that I could look down on. And I had hid the baby. And there was tables and I was like in the middle of the room. I put the baby in the back of the room. Um, I'm just remembering the detail. Um, yeah. And go to the other side of the room so they wouldn't look on that side of the room for her. See? And... Oh, it was so real. Look at my poor face. My eye is freaking swollen. Oh, I hit the button. Sorry. Swollen. Like, swollen. Um, it, it came to a point where I, I like, looked over a banister. Person sitting there, like with his back tables towards. So it's like a hotel, but there's so many tables and like these rooms and like <sighs> a walkway, and then a little t- like a little table, and then another man sitting there who could see at that walkway. But this guy, mm-hmm, you couldn't Did see. He? And my hubby, which is this is just crazy because my hubby freaking knows him. When I told my hubby this dream, he was like, girl, you know he can actually do all that, right? And I was like, I know, but it's not like I'm I'm giving information out that other people aren't really speaking on. Like, other people are saying worse things than I'm saying. Like, I'm not even saying anything. Yeah, because technically, I don't say anything. The spirit box says it, and I write what I hear. That's it, you know? Um... Keep listening, because everything's in line. Listen. It's literally just me writing what I hear from the spirit machine. Right. You know? Um, and the only thing I could think of is, is basically that he, if he would have saw something on the spirit machine, and he would have heard something that only he knows, you understand? Um, because I've never actually said anything out of my mouth about Correct. Um, so, my heart is racing. So, um, my hubby in the dream comes up to him and puts like a, uh, pew pew weapon <laughs> to the back of his head. And I was like, okay, this is my chance. I grabbed the baby and I tried to get out. And I went down just a couple steps. It was like a red car. It was like the, uh, we call it like a foyer area. Right before you get out your front door, there's like a foyer area. But this was big, big, big red carpet, like three or four steps red carpeted out. There was something on the side. I swear it looked like a mattress or something, but like a a velvet red mattress on the side. Like they were trying to get me on that mattress. Um... So, yeah, I'm just trying to remember details. I remember coming out, it would be concrete, having, like, little statues or or something there. Um, People did not even pay me mind. Like, I feel like everybody that was there was used to this. And this is, like, something they did. And I could see, like, a door to get out of this room area and um it was like a, I don't know if it was two girls or a girl and a guy I don't remember exactly it's getting a little fuzzy but they were they were trying to do something to me again to make me knock out they were trying to knock me out so they could remove me without like a scene um I did end up getting outside. Mm-hmm. That's how I saw the concrete and the like. I can't remember now what happened. Like it's all like getting really foggy and blurry. I woke up 
and my my brain hurts. My my freaking head hurts so bad. Like in here. Okay. No, I came on here. Like I didn't do my hair. I didn't do my makeup. I didn't do anything because I want you to recognize what a spiritual attack looks like. Correct. Okay. I want you to get a feel for it. Um, the pain in my body hurts so bad. I'm just gonna skip past. Look at me. This is. I just want to see. If there's anything about the the dream? Again, uh, and then I woke up and I see like my hurts. It was so real, and I immediately, immediately woke up and was like, "That's a spiritual attack." Oh yes, one hundred percent. Now listen. Oops. Um, this next video. Come on. What are you doing? Come on. My baby got all my stuff messed up. Hold on. So this next video, it's so crazy. You're not, you're going to be like, whoa. Um, I just got to find it. Give me one second. It was like, so that was, I believe, nine months ago, almost a year ago. This next one, I believe, was like, I don't know, like five months ago. Hold on one second. I have a really bad tooth pain. This is a tincture I made for my tooth pain. It's actually an abscess <clears throat> from like six years ago. The lady tried to fix my tooth and um, she messed it up and I refused to go back to her. Like, I feel like, like that's some abusive, like gaslighting and shit. Like, oh, I messed you up. Come back. Let me fix you. Let me see what I did to you. Like, girl, please. <laughs> so... All right, I'm still looking for it. We're almost there, though. I can feel it. Clock strikes upon the hour. See, the other day I had to do a um, concert. Okay, I found it. I had to do a concert for you guys as homework for Miss Cheryl. And I was so nervous just because I knew it was homework and... It put such a pressure on me. Like, I was shaking like this. You, I sing for you guys all the time. Um, I'm never that nervous, but it was literally because I knew it was homework. And <laughs> there was just such an extra pressure on me. And it's okay. I did all right. So, <clears throat> this was recorded five months ago. It says, they did it to me again. Astro projection. Okay. So before I get into it, I just want to show you when I did this. March 25th, 2024. Okay. Right here. Should I be worried? I'm shaking. And the thumbnail says, they did it to me again. Astral projection. Now this is crazy. Okay. Especially if you're going to do any research about this, check out all the dates. Turn it up so you can definitely hear it. Okay, tell me I am not in line with the universe and doing exactly what I am supposed to be doing. Okay, so I gotta take you back. So let's watch this part and then I gotta take you back, all right? Hold on. So sorry about my appearance, but this is breaking news. P. Diddy, his home has just been raided by the feds for sex trafficking. It is about time. Hold on. I think that's after. So wait, I gotta go back a little further. Just give me a moment. <clears throat> Hold on. I'll find it. I'll find it. Oh, here. Here it is. So, this one was six months ago. Okay? So, scratch that. For, that that This one we were just talking about. Should I be worried? Scratch that one just for now. Okay? I forgot about that video. Hmm. We'll get to that one. So, it's this video. And it says, they took me there. I seen it. Okay. Now, the words I express from the universe. Okay. And I did this. Let me just show you the date. February 8th. Okay. Right there. February 8th. They took me there. I seen it. Okay. Here we go. This was hard for me to talk about. Very. Oh, 
just trying to breathe. So, I did it again. It took me somewhere again. I astro project a lot, but it's never like to the Bahamas. It, it's never like that. It's always saving somebody from a terrible situation, whether it's um, on this plane or another. Um, I've shared a few of them with you, um, but it's never a happy moment. <laughs> you know, can I, can I, universe, can I get the Bahamas one time? <laughs> I save a lot. I save a lot of people. I always know when they're about to prepare me to do something in the spiritual realm. Because in the physical realm, the math stops mathing. Mm -hmm. So I'm. Uh, You've got a great idea for a map, and you can't believe that no one else has thought of it yet. You're sure this idea stops mathing. So I'm just going to speed this up because I'm just talking about how I know. When the math stops mathing and something's about to come at me, okay? Um, and I just start talking about how, you know, I have a hundred and whatever subscribers here and, and such and such subscribers there. And I'll get a thousand views here. But I'll get like uh, almost a million there. And it's like, but I don't get paid there. So it's like, hey, <laughs> you know, <laughs> this is how I support my family. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to put the playback speed just a little faster. And if you want to know how to do that, you see this little icon here? If the button won't be on the dang bottom, hold on. Let me try this way. No? Okay. Well, anyways, you see the little button right here? Click that. You're going to see right here, playback speed. Click that. And then you could go higher or lower. And we're going to go quite fast. Just for now. Just to get through that little part. Stops messing. Come on, I'm going to I'm going to go get another phone. <laughs> so you should me. Mm -hmm. Just hold on. Okay, so I got it here. But I want to say first, um, it's not about the numbers to me. It's not about the numbers. It's who I'm connected mm -hmm. with. Okay. So I got 98,000 subscribers. Thank you so much. But 98,000. Hold on. There you go. Huh? And I love each and every one of you. On like the 1K. Okay. Now to me, again, I know the universe works its ways, and it's not about these numbers, right? Because the universe moves this way. But I'm sure who I'm connected with. I this video one day ago with 1.2K. Hold on, there you go. 1,000 views. Okay. I upload the same video on a channel I do not get paid on. It's not monetized. Hold on, I'll pull it up. Camera me. Uh, the enemy knows that YouTube is what I support my family with, okay? Oh, All my Gypsy Rose's uh, videos are flagged. Okay? My Same video income has dropped drastically. Okay. 227 .7K. Same video. Okay. With 30,000. Okay, so... When stuff stopped and starts shifting like that, I know something's coming. Ding. Okay. Now, what happened was I, I was astral projected. I was astral projected. I All right, I'll slow it down for you. Play that speed, normal. Okay. I don't ever astral project on my own, okay? Um, it only I get happens home. when they want to use me for a certain situation, either for me to see or to help in the situation to get somebody out of the situation so with that being said i knew it was coming i felt it i felt so sick and i i took a nap and i'm gonna try to be as careful as possible in what i'm saying it's diddy but i've had a dream about this very very not a dream. It's not a dream. It's astral projecting. Remember the dates. If you're going to go research, please do. Please do research. 
I said this February 8th. February 8th, 2024. Okay. It was, um, an astral projecting before as well and we could call him Mitty Mitty remember Mitty excuse me I don't know if they already know this this part I don't think so but I feel like I have to reveal it so that it actually happens and it reveals itself so this is what i was shown i was um literally said i feel like the universe took me there so that i can reveal it out into the universe so that it can reveal itself because it's being hidden it gets creepier taken to this i want to call it a hotel but not a good one, okay? Like, it wasn't classy at all. It so the first dream, I was in a very expensive one. Like, a very big, I don't know what kind of hotel that has, like, this party setting. And then there's another one that is very dark and dingy and, and disgusting. Could have even just been, like, a room. No, it was a hotel. It was definitely a hotel. Okay. It's a trashy hotel. See? And there's a man there, and there was a few girls, okay? And it was very scary. The situation was very scary. <sighs> so basically... This man, Mitty, has another man, okay? So that he don't have to be in the picture, but he runs it all. Do you follow me? This man has this man. Schmex trafficking. He's paying him. And this man has these girls. And they're in a hotel room. So a couple of them. I think there's like three of them. Might be more. Breaks my heart. These girls so. are being hurt. These girls do not want to be there, but they can't get out. <sighs> the number one point I was being shown was it's this person here. All of it is there. The number one point. Look, I'm getting emotional just. <sighs> The number one point was it was Diddy. It was Diddy in control of all of this. Do you understand? It's not just what we're hearing about in the news. That's what I'm being told to say. It's not just what we're hearing in the news. Oh, he did this back then. Or he did this back then. I don't even know what they were then. saying in the news around then, but it wasn't He's trafficking. This now. Right now. There was no talk about him trafficking girls back then, February. Do a little research. Hold on. Commercial. My name is Jack. You know what's crazy? They demonetized my, my backup channel. I, I cannot monetize that channel because of Gypsy. I cannot get my um <clears throat> my YouTube play button because of Gypsy's little stands. Um but they still run ads on it. Hmm. Years old. I... It's current. It's current. I was there, I seen it. The living conditions is gross. It's dangerous. There was weapons. They were being forced to be there. His energy scares the heebie-jeebies out of me. I know I'm protected. Because we demon slayers. But I do still feel some effects. <clears throat> Always. Can't get around that. I feel like I'm supposed to save them, but I don't know how. 
think because I spoke it out loud, it did, I in a like sense. By speaking, that's what I'm feeling like. By letting you know what I saw there. It's going to open it. It might unravel. And it did. I just don't, in my human part of my brain, I just don't see him ever taking the fall for that. But I know spirit always, always knows what they're doing. So, <laughs> there's something happening here. It's not me. With this person controlling the situation, okay? This person. Bad girls for life. That, <laughs> you understand? Um, that astral projection really controller scared me so bad. So, but I've been in worse situations. And I also see people trying to project in my dreams. Nothing stops me. I rebuke them. Until the universe says it's time to stop. access to my energy. Um, so, yeah. I don't like the feeling after an astral projection. I hate it. But I want you to see what it actually looks like. Again. It feels like. Look at how horrible. So when you go through it, if if you're chosen to, um, you'll be able to recognize that, hey, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> you know? Um, so, yeah. All right, so I that's the gist of it. Wait. Dream. That water coming up from the ground it wasn't really coming from rainfall. Literally just happened in Saudi Arabia? Was it Saudi? It was some desert that there was just water coming up from the ground. Hello. Anyways, um, now let's find that other video real quick because, oh, it went all the way back. Hold on, I gotta find it again. You want me to pause you? I'll pause you for a second. Okay, so this video is called, Should I Be Worried? I'm Shaking. And I did this March 25th. So the the last video we just watched was February 8th. So this is like at the end of the next month. Right here. March 25th. Should I be worried? I'm shaking. Now, I don't know. I don't remember this video. Um, but there is a clip right here that says P. Diddy, home raided by feds. Um, Schmex trafficking, okay. Um, but I want to show you something because I think I did something before that video. Let me just see real quick. Uh, stay with me. Here, here, community tab. Oops. Hold on. Uh-huh. Five months ago? Mm. It don't tell me an exact date, but it does say five months ago, right? And I happened. To, I hadn't been speaking about Diddy, none of that. Like, I had a whole nother premonition um, that I stayed shut, okay? Because the premonition was at my home. I don't play that. So, um... I didn't talk about that premonition, nothing. Something just said, boom, post this, right? And I said, <clears throat> here's the picture. Right? And up top, it says, because he got sage and he got amethyst. Well, what's my birthstone, guys? Amethyst. Um, sage and crystals can't save you from your own karma. Not the demon trying to rid demons. Um, somebody's shaking in their boots. Literally, look at the comment. Five months ago. Don't tell me the exact date, but crazy you posted this. This was the next day. Okay, so I posted this. Yeah, it was probably in the evening. By that next morning, I woke up to this comment. Crazy you posted this. His houses, plural, are getting raided right now. And then I think that's when I posted this video so I that happened first where I just happened to mention him and that next day literally hours later because that was in the evening that I posted this he was being raided 
So check this out. Let's open this one up. I don't remember what I said here, so we're going to find out together. Okay, tell me I am not in line with the universe and doing exactly what I am supposed to be doing. Okay, so I got to take you back. So let's watch this part, and then I got to take you back, all right? Okay. So with me? sorry about my appearance, but this is breaking news. P. Diddy, his home has just been raided by the feds for sex trafficking. It is about time. I've been waiting for this, and here you are. The rapper and music executive, perhaps be. So this was March 25th, right? So this is the day that um <clears throat> he he uh gets raided. Okay, March 25th. Um, what was the date that I said for for? Hold on, let me see. Uh, hold on. Ah, I can't find the history. There we go. I, I want to see the date that I talked about that hotel. Um, should I be worried? This one. So, he got raided March 25th. Every task. And yeah. this yeah. happened February 8th. Now, Nina, now I don't have TikTok on this, but I might have to pause you and install it. Nina just posted, I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before, I can't remember. I think it was the day before yesterday. That now, there's like a few hotels that are being subpoenaed to court. Like big hotels. For guess what? You guessed it. Schmex trafficking. Again, I know a lot of people don't believe in what I do. And I'm not here to force you to. But, like the proof is in the pudding. Why me? Why me? Why you? Why uh? Right? Well, number one. Every case that I'm attached to is because I have went through something similar. Every case I'm attached to and that I do is because I went through similar situations and I didn't survive, was murdered at 17. The universe literally called me back. Now, I wasn't as spiritual when I got back. <laughs> it all unfolded for me. I've always had gifts. I've always been connected. But all that pain and torture and suffering that I felt and went through transmuted I transmuted to make it something beautiful I am connected to this earth just like everybody else I just tap in a little deeper I just see things from a different perspective if you don't see it that's fine that's fine but don't judge me because I see it I see creators talking crap about me. My babes tell me about it. It's okay. That's fine. Talk all you want. If it helps you, do it. But I know who I am. And I'm very sure of myself. You will never see me sitting up here talking crap about another creator. Never. Now, murderers, ours, rapists, shitty-ass parents, you're fair game. You're fair game. I do this with 
every intention as pure as possible. Every single intention I have is as pure as possible. It's the only way to do it. Anything else is evil. And that I am not. Nobody can say I'm evil. I have never hurt nobody. Although when I was younger, I got into fights. But hey, we were all little teenagers one time, right? <laughs> uh, you know, my whole thing is, if you don't agree with me, you don't have to put me down either. I'm a real survivor. Like, it's nothing from it. Nothing. But I give so much. I give and I give. And I give and I give. Because that's the only thing you know how to do. I work on my, my dreams. I work on my goals. I work on supporting my baby's dreams and my daughter's goals. I got my oldest daughter. My oldest daughter's going to be 24. I got two grandbabies. She's taking Hawaiian um, classes. And my five-year-old's taking Italian classes. And I've been through so much. That most of these people that talk crap about me wouldn't have survived a minute, let alone four seconds, three, four, I don't know, four seconds. You wouldn't have survived it, period. And the fact that I am still here, and I have every right to be a psychopath murderer, but I chose not to be. It's a literal slap in the face seeing this murderer of Gypsy Rose prancing around with all her fake dramas, you know, and her fake stories that she stole from this movie and this movie and this movie and this book and this book and made books and this. It's a slap in the face to all of us real victims. Not just Munchausen syndrome, not just narcissistic abuse. Not just domestic violence. You have no idea what I've went through. And I ain't mad at none of y'all. I don't have time to be. <laughs> I don't. I just want you guys to know what real spiritual attacks look like. What they feel like. So if it happens to you, you can recognize it. And you can go... Take a spiritual shower. No special soap needed. You know, hey, I got this special soap. It's only twenty nine ninety nine. You don't need no special soap. It's all about your mind, heart, soul. Everything on the same path with the same pure intention will get you there. I love you. I knew I was going to get upset during this reading, but that's okay. I didn't get too upset. I'm going to go take another shower. And go eat. I'm hungry. <laughs>